Yo, what's up, guys? I was perusing the hiveworkshop.com community website for new maps, and I found this really cool project, Sunken City, that advertises itself as a map with puzzles, challenges, and RPG elements. I've hosted a game here, and we're about to start it. Let's see what it's all about. I took a quick look, and it looks freaking awesome. Uh, I didn't watch the intro yet, but I saw the intro was good. So uh, let's check it out together. Created by Spaz Master, you find yourself shipwrecked at the shores of an ancient temple forgotten by civilization. Cooperate with your allies and delve into the deep ways to customize your hero in order to overcome various enemies, bosses, traps, puzzles, and claim the treasures that lie within. From HiveWorkshop.com, hosted project at Hive Workshop. Here we go. Intro. Easy, normal, hard, hell, or insane difficulty. Uh, handicap goes up. Enemy gets bonus armor, damage, attack speed. Uh, player bonuses. Uh, player bonus gold, bonus gold per kill. Bonus XP, bonus magic find. Uh, let's go with uh, hard difficulty where we have one bonus gold per kill. Select 10 lives, 20 lives, 30 lives, 40 lives. Player deaths reduce the remaining lives by one. Your team has 40 lives. Let's go with uh, 20 lives. Select standard mode or heroic mode. Heroic mode, enemy units start life stealing when they drop low. They start scaling, they start healing. Night Player spellcast periodically summons a nightmare that chases them uh, or standard. Let's go standard mode. Okay, we, we, we pick our hero now, I think. And if you type ra minus random int or minus random agi or minus random strength, str, then you get a random hero of that stat. I don't know how to pick hero yet. You can check your hero's movement speed by typing in movement speed, I see. Uh, like this, we can hide stats. Like this, we can hide these stats. We have a DPS meter. Uh, so, how do we pick heroes? Let's check it out. There's a peon here. Oh, here we go. By clicking the beacons. So these are strength, I guess? No, red is strength, I guess. Warrior, paladin. Yeah, this must be the strength class. Uh, here is the agility. And this would then be intelligence. Okay. Let's check it out. Well, what do you guys think we should go for? Orc Shaman, Tarn Druid, Blood Elf Priest, Blood Elf Mage, Witch Doctor, Warlock, and Necromancer. Oh, 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 that locks out the agility class for the rest of us. Schlitz already made his decision. Candy, can you wait for me? <coughs> uh, on the Necromancer. And then we have the Orc Warrior, Blood Elf Paladin, Orc Death Knight, Pandaren Monk, Goblin Tinker, Naga Tide Warrior, and Dragon Sentinel. Damn. I'm a big fan of Warlocks in all games I play. So that could be pretty cool. The most volatile and insatiable of spellcasters. They exploit powerful shadow magic. I'm sold at insatiable. I pledge my loyalty. We will share our ways. I pledge my loyalty. We will share our ways. My strength is yours. I give you my wisdom. I give you my wisdom. How can this old one help? The orcs slaughtered my people. And their demon magics consumed our world. We that are left will reclaim what we can. Of life and honor amongst the ashes of our history. Drakthul. Uh, so what do we got here? We got Arius. Uh... A pointy-eared paladin. 
Uh, we got uh, Dragfil the Warlock, and then we have Akinos the Windmaster. Good choice, guys. All right, we have a new quest. Uh, let's see, we have a journal here. Oh, what's that? The missing peon quest discovered. Okay, so we got a quest here in the sunken city. Oh, we're fighting now. It's a target dummy. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, there we go. That's our auto attack. Life tap consumes health as spell damage to restore mana. We better pick a spell quickly. Summons a fell guard. Oh, there we go. I'll tank, guys. Okay, there we go. So, uh, summon a fell guard through violent explosion with last 12 seconds and gains 35% of the warlock's health as its own. The explosion deals damage uh, to all enemy units caught within it. Area damage 50, fell guard health 350. And then we can use uh, life tap, consume health to get mana. Restore mana equal to 40% of life consumed before any damage mitigation is applied on it. Cool. DPS meter doesn't work. Yeah, looks like it's not working. For Drenor. Uh, journal. And what's this? This is a dungeon, Dark Water Bay, required level 13. The sunken city hides many secrets. Defeat all obstacles in order to locate the missing goblins. We got the missing peon. Warlord Trek sent a peon several hours ago to harvest lumber, but there's no sign. Do your best to find him dead or alive. Maybe we kill him ourselves. Or we take the wood for ourselves. Movement speed, items clear, cam lock, random all, random, negative one. Refreshes the in-game multiport in case it disappears. Stats, damage on, off. Okay, and then ready for raiding. We got a bunch of uh, challenges here. Defeat Sevius, defeat Gazrite, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to the right side then. <coughs> Mana potion. This is E. Bam. What do these fell guards do? Fell guard deals increased damage with attacks equal to warlock's attack damage. <laughs> That's uh, 19 lives left. Serious business. <coughs> Murgle Cliff Runner. He's got healing potions. Okay, uh, and this is uh, only 40 mana. I can pretty much spam these, to be honest. Did we find the peon? Master. How do we talk to him? Hey, boss. Why aren't you working, peon? Me thought that the woods came alive. Me got scared. You coward! Go back to the base and report to Warlord Trek. Immediately. Okie dokie. Ah, there we go. First quest. So we cannot kill the peon. Uh, I think uh, Candy Bomb is just shopping, maybe? We, we got some shopping to do. Your fell guards now spawn as wrath guards instead, which have chaos attack type. Looks like uh, we can only choose one of these. Consumption, siphon life ticks faster, empowered life tap. Grimoire of summoning. Every 12 spell casts will summon a fell guard at the warlord's location. Haunt ticks twice. Increase attack damage, scaling of backdraft. Havoc aura now grants lifesteal. Next page. Eradication. The attacks of Warlock deal more damage. Which actually is a buff as well to we will share our Felguard, which is scaling off of our attack damage. 18. Additional 1 for 15% of Warlock's attack damage. 18. How may I need you? How can this huh. Felguards now have Chaos attack type. That's pretty good. I like that. Let's do that. My is yours. So we now make Wrath Guards instead. There we go. 18 Chaos My damage. Cool. If it must be done, I will do Escape for skill points. Oh, yeah. 
Increase armor, health, mana, haste, attack speed, damage, critical strike, potency. What is potency? Mastery and pet damage. What's a pet? Hmm. Uh, we will get... How did health relate again? It was health for the creeps, I think. Let's do uh, damage. The door is sealed by a mechanism. Using the inspectability of your hero. Oh. Melon. <coughs> if it must be done, I will do what I can. There must be a lever somewhere. I you, I will try. Potency. I will do my best. Mastery and pet damage need explanation. Yeah. We will share our ways. I give you my wisdom. So this is one of the puzzles. It's not all brawn and banter. Hey, I will try. I found a secret place. I'll do my best. As fast as I can. I will try. As fast as I can. Approaching the small grove causes it to shine and leave behind an object. Yo, um Candy Bombers. Agility for you. My strength is yours. That's cool. Oh look, we can reveal this too. Lush vegetation surrounds you. Many of the nearby structures have been deformed or entirely covered by it. I will do what I can. If it must be done. Hey, help! Get him, chaos damage. Siphon life. Oh, that sucks. Dude, Warlock is goated. Siphon life. Channels life energy between Warlock and the target. Oh, I can uh, do it on allies too. I will do what I can. Dude, so useful. Aww. Uh, an eerie feeling fills you as you approach the entrance, which appears to be centuries old. Right. I will try. I'll do my best. If it must be done, I will do what But there's no lever. I'll do my best. Hmm. I will try. We go somewhere else, guys? If it must be done. Since we cannot crack the code. I give you my wisdom. If it must be done. And what's this then? Recall? Restoration. My strength is yours. Okay. I will do what I can. How may I need you? I don't know if you can buy potions. I give you my wisdom. I'll do my best. I will try. The door is locked from the other as side. There must be a key somewhere. It must be done. As fast as I can. <coughs> I will do what I can. Cannot go in here. I, I'll do Are we best. stuck this early? Do the stats above your unit portrait have mouse over info? Backpack, F2. Oh. Roll. Allows your hero to roll a random number. This helps for achieving fair distribution of items that are wanted by more than one player. Pass. Taunt. Toggle. Transfer item. Combat text. Hearthstone. Drop items. One of the hints said something about the buildings being lost it in the jungle. Yeah, that's true. I'll do my best. I will try as fast as I can. I will do what I can as fast as That I the can. buildings were overgrown. I'll try. I'll do my best. If it must be done, I'll do my best as fast as I can. Huh? Hey! Oh! He's standing on a platform. 
And he's, he's staying on it. I will do what I can. Nice. This is like we were here too. If it must be done as fast as I can. You coming, uh, Candy Bombers? We need your help. I'll heal you. Did you just use Invul Potion? Or is that an ability? I will try. I will do what I can. I will do what I can. I will try. Warlock OP. Ability. Done. Okay. Can you share unit control? But I think we shouldn't. Rune of healing. Nice, level up. What do we get? Empowers the Warlock, granting bonus damage and bonus attack speed for 10 seconds to all nearby allies. Oh, thanks for the Holy Light. Blood Globe. Restores 15% of your health when used. So this is Strength Hero. Yeah, so all agility should go to Schlitz and all strength should go to uh, Candy Bombers. In addition, if demons get healed by this ability, they will also get gain the attack speed bonus. Afflicts the target enemy with a curse. Help! Careful! Dangerous creeps! We didn't level up yet. Where, where, where's my character? Oh shit. Oh no, guys. We weren't ready, I didn't choose my abilities yet. Guys. What's F8? Masteries. Contains various glyphs that increase the offensive capabilities on your hero through on damage effects. Defensive glyphs, utility glyphs, improved summons, support glyphs, specialization de demonology. Specializations affect the abilities of your heroes and determine what mastery does for you. Clicking this ability switches between the different specializations, increases the damage dealt by your demons. Summon Felguard, now summons two instead of one. Is that what I am now? <coughs> Cremation. Crit strike. Seed of corruption. Creeping death. Summon Felguard now also spawns two ranged imps. Gift of Sargeras. I can't, right? Because I already have this. Reset talents. You can have a maximum of three talents at a time. You cannot have more. Oh, you can just reset every hundred seconds. Let's try implosion then. And then uh, support glyphs. Healing bonus. Damage reduction for allies or magic find. Utility. Improved summons, mana regenerate primary. I think support or utility. You can have three talents now. Not right now. There's only one slot for now. My strength is yours. I think I'll try support. Oh, I can still choose. Increase item drop chances. Cliff of Renewal. Your spellcast have a chance to restore health. 
to all friendly units. Cri Glyph of Crippling. Your attacks apply cripple. Reduces the damage taken by allied heroes, but increases the damage your hero takes. Increases the effectiveness of healing type effects. Your healing type spell cast ca calls everyone to regenerate mana. Increases the duration of your taunting effects. Affects enemies with trepidation aura, which makes them take more damage from allied units, not including your own units. Utility. Regenerate mana. After casting whatever your Q hotkey ability is, your hero gains class mastery. If you're intelligence, this means restore maximum mana and then regenerate. Clear casting. Mastery. It increases your mastery by 20, but don't know what that is, right? Pet damage. Boosts your primary attribute. Increases your haste. Okay. If your inventory is full. I kind of like uh, healing for everybody. Glyph of Renewal. Reset glyphs. 60 second cooldown. Wallace defensive glyphs. Okay, cool. The demonology specialization. Affliction. Destruction. So there's three specializations I can have. Increased damage dealt by demons. And two fell guards. Or I could be affliction based. Increased damage dealt by siphon life and haunt. And replaces backdraft with potent afflictions. Whatever backdraft is. Which I didn't use yet. Dealing damage from any source consumes health to increase the damage dealt. The consumed health is treated as spell damage to warlock. In addition, dealing damage from any source has a chance to restore health. Interesting. Destruction. Replace the siphon life with Havoc Aura. Havoc Aura. Backdraft. Havoc Aura. Oh, no more siphon life. Affects all allies within 700 range. Havoc Aura. Whenever the warlock attacks, all affected units will restore 20 health. Increased by their maximum health. A percentage of. Havoc Aura also grants the warlock attack speed and increases the... Okay. And the attacks of the Warlock and his summons have a chance to cause a Fire Blast on the target. The proc chance is increased for Warlock's critical strikes. I see, I see. Interesting. Increase its critical strike and mastery. Oh. That's what mastery is. It determines what mastery does for you. Mastery here increases demon damage. Mastery here increases damage of Siphon Life. And Mastery here increases crits. Interesting. Yeah, I'll go for demons. Demon seems cool. And then if I cast spells, I can heal demons. Empowers the war. A curse, drop enemy movement speed, it deals damage, and it reduces armor. Targeting a unit that's already affected. Okay. Haunt, Demon Wrath. Let's do Demon Wrath first. Okay, I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. I will try as fast as I can. I will do what I can. Mastery here works like in WoW. I don't know how it works in WoW. I'll do my best. Got some items. Scroll of Experience. Interesting. You can save your game via the regular Warcraft 3 menu. Works for single or multiplayer. Oh, here you can see all your stats. I will try. <coughs> yeah, no, that's a lot better. Much easier now. I 
And every time I cast any spells, everybody heals. See? That's insane. Hey, I can summon over the gate. Easy. Oh no, I'm triggering events. Oh, but the gate opened. Someone stood on the pedestal. We can go here now. Oh, never mind. This one's open too. What's this? Oh, healing. I got some imps. You got me. Oh, help, help! Damn. I only have one armor. Now what? You got me. So he actually does have mana issues, Schlitz. So we can give him mana. While Sudamar was always more beautiful, beautiful and peaceful, Kalasia was surrounded by towering, unbreachable walls, which gave the feeling of security. It looks like summons can break the fourth wall. What the? F oh my God. Okay, coming soon. Hold on. I can, uh... Do my best. I can actually step on this, How can this with my next summon. Help? Does this summon imps? I oh, I think a hero has to be on it to trigger. The door is locked, but there's a strange moon mark. Where are my dudes? Oh, there it is. Avoid pulling enemies too close to the resurrection stones. They also benefit from healing. Oh, I see. If it must be done. What's this? Hey, a survivor merchant. Iron hammer. We can shop. I have 600 gold. Vitality gem. Mana, mana. Perry up to vitality, 100 health, 200 health. Mana per second. Health per second. Spell damage. Reduction. Oh, four armor. Blood machete. Critical strike. Attack speed. I kind of like picking armor, even though in theory I shouldn't need it. But we don't have a lot of uh, lives left. I'll just take the armor, just in case. Wait. Oh, you can upgrade it too. You can buy an upgrade of it. Upgrades? Can you? Attack speed? Damage? Does it cost more money then? <coughs> Sell. I guess if I click here, I'll buy it. And if I pick an upgrade, I could choose if I want to go through with it. Like this one gives eight mastery. Oh, that's 1900 gold. Oh, and it shows the components. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hold on. Okay, I have the shield. Is that the boss? Razgor. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Razgor. I remember that. I did not remember that. Nope. <coughs> I did not remember that. We will share Let's go. Ways. Seven and a half thousand. Oh, hey, we can't beat this guy. I'll do my best. Maybe we can. Closer. 
I got you, bro. I'm healing. I should have had my Q here. Hey, we're winning. Critical strike. I think uh, that should go to Blade Master. Yep, pinging like mad. Heal, bam. It's heal and attack speed, right? I'm life tapping. At first I thought I'll never run out of mana, but that turns out not to be true. We can run out. Lord of the Dead. Damage type massive. Yo, this, this character looks freaking cool. Look at this. So cool. Uh, my armor completely useless until I get attacked, of course. Go get them, imps. I should get mastery. Then I think uh, my summons have more damage and health or something. If I remember correctly. Look, these guys are running out of mana too. They don't have life tap like me. Are we gonna get level up? 662. No XP for those summons. What's that? Battle horn. <coughs> it's gone. He ate the scroll of uh, XP. Great, just great. Lyson dropped the key into the fire pot. How am I supposed to get it out now? It's quite cool, you know. Ferric is not himself anymore. I can't even recognize him anymore. Not that I knew him back then, but it all fell apart. And he goes like just... The, just when we need him most. With all these horrible things happening in Suramar. I have the horn? Oh, I have the horn. Pet damage. I guess that's like any summon is a pet. I would imagine. Mastery is damage dealt by your demons. Okay, that's what mastery does for me. If it must be done, I will try. I'll do my best. I will do what I can. Fuck. Each creep has a scripted loot table that has a chance to drop any item. Difficulties and glyphs can improve that chance. If it must be done, as <coughs> as I can. A moon mark. I give you my wisdom. I'll do my best. I will try. I will, do I will cry. I will try. I'll An Afriti. I'm not afraid. with the rest too. More dots. We need more dots. Almost level up. Yeah, nice. Oh wait, this is uh, this tornado is by one of my allies actually. Learn attribute bonus or haunt. Let's do haunt. Yep. 
It deals damage and he's haunted. It deals damage over time. And when you target a unit that's already affected by it, it deals damage equal to the total duration amount. Damage 10, cooldown 7, duration 10. There are things going on in Zinashari that are kept secret from us. I just know it. People have begun telling really creepy stories lately. That's mine. Hey! I'm not gonna let him out. I will try. If it must be done, I will do what I can. I hate it in single player when I accidentally pick up the intelligence. Our hero has been slain. Okay. If I had more intelligence, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Don't walk into the volcano! We have 15 lives left. So what's this? More customizations? I give you my wisdom. Hold on, hold on, I need to pick. What's this by the way? Clarity potion. Where are we going? Can you guys wait for me? I can pick another glyph. Talents menu. Cannot pick another talent yet. Let's see, utility glyphs. Is there something that gives mana to my allies? That would be good. Your healing type spell cost calls all nearby allies to regenerate mana. There we go. Glyph of devotion. We will share okay. our ways as fast as I can. I Are you guys going anywhere in particular or just looking for what to do? Collapsed rocks have completely blocked this pathway. Wasn't there more to do here? Yeah, we, we did not finish exploring here, I think. Oh, you had a key? There was another door that needed a key. Uh, near the start? This one has a key. Does anyone see a moon mark? No. Oh. Did crash? Am I still alive? Chat, say something. If it must Not life anymore. Then, then how did you answer what I said? Oh, we didn't save the game. It was fun. I can save and rehost. It will not include me. Go ahead and try, but it will not include me if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I remember this map having a lot of crash issues? Ah, oh, what a pity. Well, I still enjoy it for what it was, even if we cannot finish it. What a well-made map. Aside from the crash. I think that's my favorite RPG map so far in Warcraft 3. Uh, really immersive. And uh, very deep uh, character design. With... And I've only seen 3-4 typos. Usually... <laughs> most map makers aren't like British or something. So... It's very deep. It's very customizable. And a minimum of uh, typos which helps with immersion. I'm not just being a stickler for it, but like it helps to actually drive the story forward. And the story writing was pretty good too. Uh, it's really nice. Sunken City, I'll, I'll link it in the description. And I'll link it to you guys here too. GG, it's up to the grab.